Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Ozeri Pronto Digital Scale. It measures 6 inches wide, 8.2 inches long, and 1.8 inches high. It weighs 12 ounces. The unit runs on two AAA batteries. The unit actually came with four batteries, which was really nice of Ozeri to include. The cover simply opens up, put the batteries in, and it's ready to use. I like that you don't need to pull out a screwdriver to open the cover. The unit comes with a user manual. The scale looks good in black and chrome and takes up hardly any space. It's easy to store in a drawer, even a shallow one. The scale weighs up to 11 pounds and graduations of 0.05 ounces. The weighing platform is a decent size. It's 5 and 5 eighths inches. You can put a large bowl on it and still see the display. There are two large and clearly marked buttons. When you press either one, you will hear a Click. This is the on off and tear button. This is the unit button, which you can press to change from ounces to milliliters to grams to pounds. When you first turn the unit on, you'll see the amount of battery life that's left. Let's go ahead and weigh a few things. Make sure the scale is on a flat surface. Turn it on and wait for the display to be zero. Ounces is the default measure. I'll try one chili pepper. 0.04 ounces. One gram. I'll weigh my earring in grams. Two grams. Two grams. I'm gonna add the chili pepper back which is one gram before. Okay, good, now it's three grams. So it's pretty accurate. When you get the scale, you're gonna start measuring all sorts of random stuff, just out of curiosity. If you're on a strict diet and need to measure out your portions, the scale is gonna be very useful. Even if you're not on a diet, it's great to see how much meat you're eating compared to vegetables on your plate. I'm gonna put a whole bell pepper on here. Shows you in grams pounds, and ounces. The scale will automatically shut off after two minutes, so it's best to have all your ingredients ready. You can't be chopping up onions or herbs and weighing it at the same time. Let's say you wanna make that perfect cup of coffee and measure your grinds. Put a bowl on the platform. Now you don't want the weight of the bowl, so you press tear, and that will reset the scale to zero. Now I can add my coffee grinds. Got ounces and grams, nine grams. If you tear and remove what you weighed, it shows you a negative measure, which is pretty neat. Not that you needed to know that, just a little interesting fact. Goes back to zero. I'll measure some fennel seeds. If you wanna measure your spices, this is a pretty accurate scale to do that. If you wanna measure a box for shipping, a small box, this is also useful for that. The scale is small and really not designed to weigh large objects. Let's say you wanna to try to eat more vegetables this year and wanna weigh out your vegetables, put a bowl, on the platform, press tear, go back to zero, and put your greens in. And you can see that weighs 9.7 ounces. It's a really good scale to measure out food. One thing that would have been really helpful is if the weight was displayed for more than a second. Let's say you're measuring something larger. If you put it on the platform, you're not going to be able to see the display. What you could do is put something that'll fit on the platform, something smaller. Press tear. 
and then weigh the larger object by putting it on top of the smaller one. I wanted to weigh this bar of soap to see if it's accurate. I'll weigh the box first and tear that out, just nine grams. Let's put the soap on. 113 grams. And look at that, the box is 113 grams. So the scale is pretty accurate. I'm not gonna say the scale is 100% accurate because I weighed this soap a couple of times, about five times, and four out of five times it was correct. It was 113 grams, but there. One time it was 112 grams. So it can be slightly off sometimes. If you wanna weigh out your dessert portions because you're on a strict diet, you just put it right on the scale and it's 1.55 ounces, 44 grams. I find the scale to be pretty accurate. It's inexpensive. It's a really useful tool in the kitchen, especially in baking, measuring is really important. And the scale is great for measuring flour, sugar, anything you need in a recipe. The link to the Ozeri scale is in the description below. I hope you found this review helpful. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.